Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on three ways to find the sum of an arithmetic series on a Casio Classways FX991EX. We have three different arithmetic series here and for the first two series we need to find the sum of the first 25 terms of those series and then the last series we need to find the sum of the first 40 odd numbers and we're going to have a look at doing this in three different ways although they are related to each other but three different approaches that you can have for finding the sum of these arithmetic series let's have a look at the first one we've got to find the sum of the first 25 terms of the series 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus 17 and so on now in the first two series we're going to have a look at using the sum feature on the Casio Classways with two variations of the equation of the nth term it's the same equation for both but I'm going to use them in two slightly different ways so with the first one what we're going to do is to look for the equation of the nth term now I'm going to start off by putting in the sum feature on the Casio class Swiss. it's shift and this button here and you can see that we've got Sigma notation involved there now what we're going to write inside the brackets is the equation of the nth term now in the first series we're going to use a method which you might have learned whilst you were doing your GCSE mathematics and that is what we can do is we can look at the common difference between the terms that we've got in our series here so we've got 5 to 9 to 13 just imagining it as a sequence well the common difference there is 4 and so what we can write we can write 4n 4 times n and then we can think about how this has been displaced from the 4 times table 4n obviously just represents multiples of 4 so we can think about going back one to the zeroth term of that particular sequence or compare the first term 5 with the first term on the 4 times table which would be 4 and we can think well what we'd need to do is to add 1 or if we went back to the zeroth term well it what would have had 4 added on to it to get to 5 well it would have been 1 and then we'd say that's plus 1 so 4n plus 1 what we're going to do is we're going to use that nth term to help us find the sum of the first 25 terms in this arithmetic series now the sum feature on the class whiz works in terms of x so we're going to substitute n for x so what we're going to write in there for this particular series is 4x plus 1 and then what you need to do is just navigate right and what will happen is the cursor will move to the sigma notation and where it says x equals at the bottom there we're going to input the first term from where we want to take the sum of that series from well that's the very first term in this example so we need to input 1 in this case and then right we'll go to the top and then we want up to term number one we want the first 25 terms so we want to input 25 in there and then when we're ready press equals and here we have the sum of that particular series for the first 25 terms it's 1325 looking at the second series we have 13 plus 11 plus 9 plus 7 and so on and once again we're going to be using the sum feature from the Casio class with so I'm going to get that ready with the Sigma notation there and again we're going to use the equation of the nth term it's just a different variation of the same equation and this is one that you might typically learn at a level or equivalent which is un equals a plus n minus 1 d it's actually the same equation just presented in a different form and we're going to use this variation of it this time in our sum feature again we want the first 25 terms so let's just carefully input that into our brackets first term is represented by a so our first term in this series is 13 plus and then once again what we've got to do is just recognize that it's x instead of n so we're going to put in brackets there x minus 1 rather than n minus 1 just for clarity I'm going to put a time sign in here and then we've got d which is the common difference between each of the terms well in this case we can see that in the sequence each term is two less than the previous term so the difference here is minus 2 negative 2 each time so multiply by minus 2 then we want to navigate right and we want to sum it from the very first term so we want to input 1 up to the 25th term so right and then 25 and then when everything's ready just press equals and here we've got the sum of the first 25 terms of this sequence minus 275 we're perhaps expecting that to be negative because we can see that the series is going down it wouldn't be too long after the first few terms there where we'd start to get negative results and obviously we're going up to the 25th term so actually minus 275 is quite an appropriate answer for us to get there 
So lastly, we've got the sum of the first 40 odd numbers. Well, if we think about what sequence or series that would uh, generate, well, that would be one plus three plus five plus seven and so on. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the formula for the sum of an arithmetic sequence and input that directly into the class quiz. Now, there's two different variations of this. The first variation we would use here if we knew the last term, and yes, we could work out what the last term is if we wanted to, if we chose to. I'm just going to use the second variation though for convenience. So it's a half times n. Now our n is the number of terms that we want to sum it to. Well, that's 40, we want the first 40 terms. And then in brackets, we want two times a. a is the first term in the sequence, which is one, so two times one, plus, and then, well, because we're not using the sum feature in this one, we just need to work out what this would be. Well, n minus one would be 40 minus one, which would be 39. So it's 39 times d, the common difference, while well, the difference between odd numbers is two. So times by two, and then we can close our brackets and press equals. And here we have our sum, 1,600. We needn't necessarily have used the formula in that case, unless we're specifically asked to do so in a question. If we use the sum feature, the sigma feature from the Casio class quiz, we would get the same result if we'd use that with the formula for the nth term as we've done with the previous two questions. So there we go, three different ways, or perhaps three different approaches at least, to finding the sum of arithmetic series to a given number of terms. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time on The Calculator Guide.